Hi, it's Dwyer, richarddwyer.com, keepingitfree.blogspot.com. Look, you know, I'm a uh, American who, you know, wants to fight terrorism as much as the next guy, right? 9-11 is still an open wound for me. But still, I don't like the idea of any court trying to instruct a private company, in this case Apple, to build software to allow the state to hack Apple's products. That's an outrageous court order. That's an outrageous overreach, in my opinion, by the state. Right? What the state seems to be trying to do is to annex Apple and make Apple a part of government. Right? They want us, the consumer, to buy goods and services over which the state has absolute oversight. That's a dangerous precedent. I applaud Apple for fighting this overreach for hiring lawyers to try to maintain the difference, the distinction between the state and private companies, right? Apple shouldn't be in a position where they have to create a back door through their own encryption. That would render the encryption, quite frankly, irrelevant. Let me say, too, that would place Apple in a position of having to create products that don't offer the level of privacy that consumers expect. Right? The terrorists in San Bernardino, they're creeps. I have absolutely no respect for them. But, right, in my opinion, we would be hurting ourselves if we blur the line between the state and the private sector in this manner. The state should not be able to order for-profit companies to override their own encryption, right? It's one thing to ask Apple for information that Apple has in its possession. In my opinion, it's another to ask Apple to create software to override the privacy features of Apple's own products. That, simply put, is unacceptable. I hope you join me in supporting Apple's efforts in fighting this governmental overreach. Right? As much as I hate terrorism, and I do, right? I just don't believe we should endanger our liberty in this way in trying to fight it. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section to this video.